Hi guys, my name is Mehdi and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these nasty white spots that you can see on my shaver here. So uh, as, as you know, you can find these like nasty white spots of, uh, I, I believe they're soap or just water on like different surfaces such as uh, stainless steel faucets or, uh, or your toothbrush, your shaver, if you don't clean it thoroughly. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to render that in Kisha. A few other examples that uh, I can show you is um, this one. You can see how uh, it, the, 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 the spots on the, the, on the steel part is, is different than uh, the plastic part. And uh, perhaps this one, this one looks uh, a little different. It just looks uh, kind of watery, just like water, water spots. Um, it doesn't look as, as natural as the, the white spots on the shaver, but uh, you can play with it and you can achieve um, your desired texture. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that. <clears throat> so we go to Keyshot. And uh, right now I clear it. Uh, my scene, I'm using a basic uh, environment, just a studio environment. And this is my shaver, as you can see. And um, I already uh, removed the spots from the, the main plastic part. But I did leave um, the, the water spots and like the soap spots, whatever, uh, on the rest of the shaver. And I'm going to be showing you how to do it on the, on the main part. So we just double click on it. We go to material graph. And as you can see, <clears throat> I already have a noise texture, texture here. Um, it, it's fine. You can, you can add it uh, add, um, a little bit more to the realism of the texture. Uh, but uh, let's uh, start with uh, the splashes. So if you go to textures, you will not be able to find any water splashes. Per se, so you have to download it yourself. So we're just gonna look up water splashes, and there is uh, there is none. I, I downloaded that myself. Uh, so I already made some uh, water spots uh, in Photoshop as PNG, and I'm gonna be using those. Um, so for example, here I have uh, white spots, which is uh, that the spots are white on the inside, and then I have this one, which is clear. That's gonna be used for uh, <clears throat> just like the water blobs on top of a surface or like a table or something. Um, you can still use this for uh, other purposes, of course, for like condensation or something. Uh, but I'm going to be using this this milky white um, spots kind of thing. And then I went ahead in Photoshop and then I just made it look a little bit random. And then uh, I blurred it in Photoshop um, so it doesn't look sharp. And I used this blurry one on uh, the metal side or on the steel side of uh, my shaver and I used this one on the plastic. So we're just going to be using this one, uh, White Spots 2 and uh, I'm going to drag and drop it into Keyshot, into my material graph. We're going to zoom out and let's see. We're going to press C and you can see how uh, how big it is. Uh, we're going to change it to scene units and let's do 110 millimeters and it looks uh, fine. You can adjust it using the move texture uh, uh, command here and you can just like put it wherever. It doesn't matter because we're going to use a, uh, a gradient um, texture on it to just hide like the rest of it. We're going to click OK. So the next thing we want to do, we want to uh, double click on the texture map, uh, go down and we want to change the bump height to uh, point one, um, you don't have to change it. Um, it's, re it's really up to you. Um, but it's going to affect the, 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 the lighting uh, later when we have more advanced lighting. And we're just going to press C to exit out of that. And I'm going to be adding, uh, we go to utilities, and I'm going to be adding a uh, where is it, co co um, color to number node here. And I'm going to be connecting this to input. And um, we're going to double click on it. And so this way we have more control over the saturation and like the, uh, the, the, the gray scaliness of the texture. That does not make any sense, but it's fine. Uh, but uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be showing it to you right now. Uh, so for example, if we change the output from, or the output to from one to point two, you can see how um, less saturated it looks or how, uh, how gr it, it's not as white as, as it was before. Um, but for the plastic part, you want to keep it at a, at a, at a higher number because uh, we do want to see those white spots, the milky spots. So I'm just going to keep it at uh, 0.75 and then um, we, can, we can change it later. I'm going to press C. 
Now I'm gonna uh, be adding a label to it. So we go to uh, textures, no, we go to materials. We go to materials and we go either paint or plastic. I used plastic in, in the first render that I showed you, but I think paint works better in, in, in this case here. So we're just gonna connect this to label. And as you can see, we have the, the, the ugly white uh, paint on top of it. And you want this to be rough uh, because you don't want the surface to reflect a lot of uh, a lot of light, so I'm just gonna do 0.95, <clears throat> so it's not a perfect one. And I'm going to be connecting this to color. So if you connect it to color, you can see the, the nasty white spots, and uh, that's that's what we want. So for the opacity, because we don't want the spots here, we only want the spots to be like around, ooh, like around this area, the, the, around the head of the shaver. So we're just gonna double click on here. Uh, we go to no, we go to textures and uh, color gradient. We add a color gradient. Again, press C. I, uh, I I've talked about color gradient before in my videos. So if you wanna go check them out, uh, you are more than welcome to. And <clears throat> I'm just, I'm gonna change the angle to 90. So it's it's zero to one. Uh, remember, black is always zero, and then white is always one in QShot. Uh, and then we can just Nope, the other way. Shift it a little bit, and and let's add more white to the top part, and we're gonna be shifting it more. I think that's that that should be fine, and we're gonna press. Let's check everything, and we're gonna press C to get out of it. And now for the opacity, if I connect this to opacity. You can see that um, we, we have we have a, a a nice thing going on here. It's, you can actually just end here, but I like to add uh, more control to my uh, renders usually. So I just uh, double click or right click on on the um, material graph. I go to utilities and then I go to color composite. Now I want to uh, connect the color gradient uh, to my clipping mask. It's uh, let me zoom down. So let's just zoom in. And then I want to um, un or disconnect the color to not to paint uh, one and connect this to source. And then I will connect this to color. And as you can see, we have, um, we have the same thing that we had before. But here we can actually change uh, the, 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 the numbers, which gives us more control over our textures. So uh, you can, for example, just play with the uh, alpha you can see how uh, it's getting harder to see the spot. So if you're going for a cleaner look, then you want to reduce the alpha. Or um, in my case, I don't want to go for a cleaner cleaner look. So I'm just going to keep it at one because I want those super uh, nasty white spots on there. Uh, you can change source alpha, which it's not suggested, obviously. And uh, we're just gonna leave the background alpha to to what it is. And I think uh, I think I'm gonna be changing this a little bit to make it look a little bit more realistic. So 0.75 looks fine, and uh, I'm gonna be changing the color or moving the color gradient a little bit. Um, this should be fine, I think. Uh, yeah, that's, that should be fine. And uh, that's basically the end of this video. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pushing it to make it look more. Um, used so if you want to just follow along you're more than welcome to uh, i'm going to be using a uh what is it called uh the, the curvature knot here and i'm going to be copying and pasting the metallic paints and uh, let's connect these to opacity and let's connect these to label and let's just give it a uh, just a ridiculous color for now uh, as you can see we don't want this uh, we're just going to add a color invert and that's what we want. We want uh, the like decoloration on uh, on the spots that the user touches. So we're just gonna change this a little bit to something more reasonable. Uh, that should be good. And we're gonna be changing the the curvature a little bit. Um, I'm gonna be making this 10 pixel, so it's not too sharp. And uh, maybe 15 should be good. Okay, that's fine. And as you can see, it's uh, you, you can see the the, the, the whitish 
spots on there. And um, I think I'm gonna make it a little bit whiter. That looks cool. And I also I can I can add a fingerprint on here because when I was looking at my reference photos, you could see the, the, the oily fingerprints on like stainless steel and stuff. So while we're in our uh, texture section, we're just gonna look up uh, fingerprints and we have a bunch, like some, some default ones in Keyshot. I'm gonna be adding one of the default ones. Uh, we're gonna zoom out and we're gonna press C, let's see. Uh, too big, too big, um, 110, 100 perhaps, and I'm going to be moving it a little bit. And of course, we don't want it to be repeated, so we're just going to turn that off. And there we go. Okay, that looks perfect. And uh, Leon Martin, I think, I believe, has a... Uh, <clears throat> A tutorial on fingerprints uh, so if you want to just follow that that's the same as what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna be uh, actually I can just duplicate this one paint and I can add this to opacity and I can uh, add this to one of my labels and as you can see it's just uh, it's obviously too much uh, so we're just gonna be uh, changing the roughness to what 1.05 perhaps uh, to make it um, go with with the, the, the main material, which is 1.25, and then we're going to still change this to 1.15. Uh, and uh, let's see, we're going to change the color uh, to something more reasonable. That's too much. I think this is good. We're just going to do 50. 48, I think, is good. We don't want it to show that much, you just want a tiny bit. And that's it, guys. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions. I will be posting this, uh, the, the final results of this tutorial on my Instagram. If you want to follow me, I will uh, leave the link down in the, in the description. And please let me know if you have any questions. And please let me know if you want to see something that uh, I, I should do or if you have any suggestions. Obviously, there's a, there's a lot of room for improvement. Uh, but but let, let me know down in the comments and I will answer uh, your questions, your whatever comment that you have. And thank you. Have a good day. Bye.